what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another sunday match thanks for tuning in um obviously if you've been keeping up with the sunday matches they've not been going too well for me garrett is now seven matches up i believe i could be wrong it's it's been it's been a little while since i won we'll just say that but uh my spirits are high and i'm swinging it pretty well and i've been putting in a lot of work uh mentally so whether or not that turns into a win today i guess we're gonna find out but we're back out here at frisco lakes and uh, just playing a wonderful golf course. So let's get right into this. Starting on hole number one, Garrett has honors. I'm gonna go out there, swing it, see if I can, uh, see if I can get a win. Just like that, made it to the first hole back out here at the one and only Frisco Lakes. Garrett, in typical fashion, has honors and uh, stepping up here, just getting out of the Jeep. Got his pizza rolls in the cart. I, I was a little more prepared today, though. I got here five minutes early, which yeah. sometimes I get here right on time. So we made some progress. Wow. I need to be a little more punctual. Is that the word punctual? Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much perfect. May go just a little through the fairway. It's headed right at those trees right there, which is a pretty good spot to be hitting at. Everything kind of works to the left here. Whew. That swing actually felt really solid, so we'll see what we can do. I think I'm going to be the right side of the fairway, or maybe, maybe the rough. We'll see. Just a tiny bit right of mine, but should be good. Yep, that's fine. Pretty good tee shots here to start today. Our balls are right here. Pretty much almost the same distance. How far did you go? 120. Yeah, you could pretty much lay a huge tarp of over 120 yards. I got it's interesting saying because if a tarp is big enough, you could land over all the balls. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. Okay. End of the breeze. This is going to be... I just hope this doesn't fly on me, so... Go. A little bit short, but... Not too bad. Got to putt up the hill for birdie here on the first hole. My ball's right here. Sitting pretty good. I think it's about the same number to be honest. Yeah. Pretty solid start on the first hole, guys. Uphill birdie putt. Like I said, these greens are rolling pretty pure, so hopefully we can knock that in for the birdie. A little bit into the wind. Pipe playing more to close to 125. 120. Oh, baby. Get up on that bridge. Yeah. All right. Real nice. Thanks. Here we go. First hole. Got a couple birdie putts. See if we can uh, start off hot here in match number 36 and uh, just play some good golf for you guys today. All right, guys, up to the green here. Garrett looking at about 25 feet. A little right to left here. I'm actually feeling pretty confident about this one. All right. Well, I guess he was right, right in the dead center. That was honestly, I couldn't have asked for an easier putt because it was Pretty much dead straight up the hill. And thankfully, I gave it a good roll, knocked it in for the birdie. Mikey here to tie it up through one hole. Did not stay up. Far birdie, Garrett's one up after one. Guys, on to hole number two, par four. A little dog leg to the left. See if we can keep the momentum. Par four, straight away, goes, well, not quite straight, goes a little bit to the left. Both got driver here. You can kind of take some yardage off of this if you hit it hard at that corner. Yep. But That should work out really good. There's a little ridge right there. If it gets over it, it can get down to the fairway, but. Decided to kind of get aggressive on that one. I actually swung really hard, so. Hopefully I, uh, I'll probably be just left of the fairway, but hopefully I have a nice shot at the green and maybe we can make another birdie. Oh my. That's gonna carry past my ball, just watch. That went so far. All right, that was nuked. That was one of the better drives I've hit. But we both hit really good tee shots there. I think we're going to have a really short yardage into this. Let's get on with it. Not put a bunch of pressure on myself. Just go out there and play. And uh, accept that Garrett's just playing really good right now. And I got to play better to beat him. So let's get on with it. Hole number two. All right, guys. There's my ball. Garrett's ball is here. Mine actually hit this tree on the fly. So it <laughs> kind of kept it from going a little farther. But if he wouldn't have hit that tree, guys, I think he would have been close to the green. That, I'm not kidding. When you hit that ball, I was like, this is the farthest drive I've ever seen it hit, but. 86 yards, prime distance. Pins in the front. This is a tough shot. It is. It's one thing about being too close to the screen, but I think he's probably got about eight to 10 yards of green to work with. Oh, my release of <laughs> destiny. It's tough to get him to stop on these greens. It's actually, I mean, it's about 25, 30. Yeah, I'm not mad at that at all. 
That's just straight up a tough shot, and so is this. I mean, these are not easy, so. 83 yards, is that the same? Yeah, you're three yards inside. All right, got a little 60 degree here. I'm trying to carry this to the front edge, honestly, after watching how much gas released. Oh my sake. Sim. Ooh. All right. I had some spin on it. It actually spun. I'm impressed. That carried all the way to the pin, but it it had just enough spin on it to throw out an anchor. Probably got eight to ten feet there for birdie. All right, Garrett has about 25 feet again, 30 feet, and I got, like I said, probably closer to 15 feet. Would you um, look at this? Almost landed in the hole. <laughs> Garrett's a little outside here. Gonna go first down the hill for his birdie. This once again, I feel confident with this putt. So. Alright, well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say, guys. Wow. Yeah, I don't really know what to say other than that's a solid start for me. <laughs> I'm a little bit shocked, to be honest. Just slips by. Well, I'm two down after two to two birdies. Well, I mean, to be honest, those were those were putts that I don't know if I typically could say that I would make. And I feel like maybe I got a little bit lucky making those first two putts. But I don't know. The stroke's feeling good. So we we're on to a par five and uh, two up. All right. On to a par five. Um, Gary still has honors after just two, making two bombs, 30, 30 plus footers right out the gate. But it is a long hole today. It's like 550, probably playing 575 into the wind. Both hitting driver here. Kind of want to just take it at that bunker out there. All right, let's see if we can start three in a row, guys. Like Micah said, just aim at that bunker. Just left of it. Probably gonna work back down towards it, though. Usually gets a good bounce there. It was hit hard, it was a good shot. I don't know, guys. I kinda took a little bit off that drive just to try and find the fairway, but we're in a solid spot there. Left side of the fairway, solid tee shot. That. Unreal. A I off. think our balls actually just touched. Really? Yes, yeah, like actually I think our balls just touched. Garrett's was a little lower, mine was a little higher. His probably rolled more than, than mine, but I think we'll be able to go at it from there to be honest. We'll see what happens. Wow. We're right here next to each other. Garrett is about six inches in front of me. Eight inches, maybe. Dude, literally eight inches from our balls touching. That's crazy, man. 261, guys. 261. I'm gonna go first. I got two iron. That is that is honestly crazy. I thought I thought for a second our balls touched, but 261. Mike has got the two iron. I like this play. You basically are just trying to carry that bunker right there, and it, it can definitely roll up. Oh, and that was struck so well. Watch this, guys. Oh my gosh. I don't know, that could be real nice. I don't see it, but that looks so good. It bounced to the right when it landed, and that's exactly what I was hoping for. Could be really good. Hopefully it made it to the green. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice hybrid here. 261, pretty full. Get the bounce. We'll see. All right, it was just a little left of where mine was. Everything kicks to the right there, so it's gonna, it, it will work its way to the green. Whether or not it gets on, we don't know yet, but two very good shots there on this par five. I'm actually in a lot of shock right now because Micah's was coming in super hot and somehow stopped short. Mine's been high, but just left of the green, so a couple really solid shots. Laying it there, coming in hot, and somehow stopped right away. That is very unlucky. Oh, baby. Go in. Oh. Wow. Let's I literally it. needed to make that to probably win this hole unless Garrett chips us in. But I got my birdie, so let's see what Garrett does here. He is, he's got a relatively easy shot, got some green to work with. If he makes this, then I guess I'm not even gonna be mad. Well, he gave himself a putt, which is, you know, you gotta make sure and do that but he's got about 15 feet for birdie. Mm, just leaves it high. That was a really good putt, just didn't quite take the break. I'm one under after three and I'm still one down, but I'm only one down after being two down after two, so that's 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 a good thing. On to a longer par four. Some good golf happening right now. Hopefully we can keep this up. All right, here we go. On to, wow, voice crack. On to the fourth hole of the day, into the breeze. I feel like everything's been into the wind today, but, uh, 
Car four dog leg to the right, solid birdie from Tig there. Sit. Gosh, man, Tig just kind of gave up on it, didn't trust it, and that's what happens. I'm gonna, I may hit a provisional just in case, but it is gonna be close over there. Fly. Yeah, that was a little high on the club face, but it is it's all right. I mean, it's down there. We have he'll have a you know still tight two bills in. I am gonna hit a provisional just in case because I I really don't know if that's in or not, and it's don't really want to come back. That's hit a lot better. Overcompensated. Don't go out that way. I think it's gonna sit. Okay. Yeah, just all in right. the left rough. Not bad. Well, let's just hope my first one's in. All right, guys, made it to Garrett's ball. Unfortunately, my ball was literally a foot out of bounds, so I will be taking my third shot over there. Yeah, Micah got real unlucky. 209, full swing five on here, guys. And then breathe. Yeah, it's pretty much pin high. Maybe just crept across the green, but it's a pretty good shot from there. What do we got here, Tig? 208. Also into the breeze a bit. I'm telling you, this hole is playing really tough today, guys. All right, I got four iron in hand. I'm trying to honestly give myself a putt for bogey and see what happens. Oh, Sit. Right. Well, I thought it was gonna come out a lot higher because it was on an upslope and it really did not. I think it's longer the green. I don't know, might be time to just move on to the next hole here. We'll see what we're, we'll see where it's at. Unfortunately, my ball went into the hazard, so just kind of absolutely made a mess of this hole. Garrett, it has, I mean, the hole is conceded, so he's just gonna finish up here. And then we're gonna go on to a par three. Par's tie, birdies win. That's, it's all right, on to the next hole. Par three, let's get it. All right, here we go, 181 up the hill. Garrett has honors after he won that, won that hole back. Got him back to two up after four. I got a seven iron here, guys. A little into the breeze, so this should be almost full here. Just front of the green there, really. Should work out. Not quite pin high, yeah, just a little short. I actually hit that really full and still short, so I think there's a little more wind up there than I kind of expected, but it was a good swing, so hopefully we can make that for the birdie. Come in there. Almost pin high, just right of the green. A couple solid shots. All right, mine just left of the green. Just needed just a little more draw and it would have been good, but Garrett has probably got about, I don't know, 20 feet for birdie and I got a chip here. Go. All right, that's unfortunate, but green got me. All right, Garrett has this to get to three up and this would put him at three under three, five holes. Just slips by. I'm gonna see if I can make mine. Try to stay stay all square here. This is what he's looking at. Force bar guys, about eight feet. I'm in here about a foot and a half, so we'll see if he can knock this in. Hmm. Just slips by. Garrett has this for his par and to get to three up. All right, easy par for him. He wins another hole. He's three up with four to play, so see what happens. Hole number six, Garrett has driver. I got driver as well. Downwind. This is pretty straightaway hole, guys. All about the tee shot after that. Very birdie, very birdieable. I think that's right side of the fairway. Should be should work out pretty good. If anything, it'll be just in the rough. Yeah, I think that's that should be pretty perfect there. Hit that one really solid. It's baby cut, but. This is our first downwind hole, so I tried to hoist that one up in the air, let it ride the wave. Nice. Should work out pretty good there. That's right cool. up the left side, a little fade. Guys, last time I had a yardage like this, I bladed it over the green in the last Sunday match, so as long as we don't do that, we're good. Oh. 
Yikes. Right side of the green. I was scared of Blake. <laughs> He's got a putt, I think. Yeah. 91 yards here for Tig. This is pretty prime position as well, so. I'm probably about 30 feet. The door is somewhat cracked open. However, the only two putts that I've made today have been around 30 feet, so we'll see. It's inside of me, but a couple bad shots from the fairway here. Yeah, not great from that yardage. Just good distance, but not a good direction. Guys, about the same distance as the other two that I made. And honestly, I'm feeling really good about this one. So maybe we can uh, roll another one in. Hmm. Well, good putt. Made his par. Now I got this to see if I can uh, win one back here and get to, get to two down. Got a pretty good read, I assume, from that, that putt that I just hit. So should be just a tad right to left for him. See if you can knock it in. This would be huge. All right, guys. Well, left myself with a little bit of work here. Nice putt. All right, three down on three to play. That was yeah. that was freaking clutch, guys, because that that was kind of a slider up the hill from like three feet. So nice par for both of us. Three holes left. All right, guys. Seventh hole of the day. Garrett is three up. It is a drivable par four. It's like two. It's like right at 300 yards to the pin from here. Looks like he's got three wood in hand. Kind of playing to be a little short of anything. As long as a no go. I mean, so short. Short kind of sucks too, but kind of just have to hit a perfect shot. Probably right side of the green, to be honest. It should be. I hit it as hard as possible, so I think it, it cleared. Micah also got three wood here. I like this play. This is straight into the sun. You basically can't see anything. It's kind of a, just got to trust it. Oh, ho, 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 boy. This looks real nice, guys. Just left of the pen. I mean, I hit it perfect, but it just, it's, a, it's about, it was about 10 yards too far left. So we'll see. I think it's in play, but ah, it was close. Well, guys, unfortunately, I think my ball went in. Very surprising, to be honest, but Garrett is right here in front of the green. And a tie on this hole would have got him the win, so he's going to finish out. Yeah, it's probably going to be a win for Garrett here on 36. All right, well, that is it for number 36. Unfortunately, I did take another L. Solid golf by Garrett, just mistake free. Three under for the young man. That is it for today. Let us know in the comments down below, but I feel like we need to switch it up. Obviously, we filmed a lot in Dallas for the Sunday matches. I feel like we need to try and travel a little more like we kind of used to in, in season one. Maybe get some matches at some fun courses, not here in Texas. Let us know if you want to see that, guys, because I think that would be a lot of fun, but stay tuned. Maybe we'll make that happen, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Garrett played some solid golf, and it was fun to watch. So stay tuned for next week. Um, Garrett's now eight up in the Sunday matches, so we'll get on with it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. See you guys soon. Peace.